I'm at a convention here and behind me there are hundreds and hundreds of people that are learning and getting excited and getting absolutely enthused about going back to their lives and making their dreams come true and a lot of them will but you know what some of them won't and as a matter of fact one of the number one questions that I get asked all the time is Joseph why am I not achieving my dreams why am I not achieving my goals well you know what I'm not only going to answer that question for you but I'm going to help you flip that script so that you do achieve your dreams and goals So why am I not achieving my dreams, goals, and desires? Why are other people achieving it? I'm not. Why don't I have what I want? You know what? That's a great question. If you don't want to achieve your dreams, goals, and desires, well, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to share with you why that question is so destructive. But more importantly, I'm going to share with you what the question to ask and what to do to flip that script so that you start achieving what you want sooner rather than later. So why is that such a terrible question? Well, check this out. Here's the way the human brain works. When a human being asks why, the brain always wants an answer. And when it gets an answer that it doesn't like, or it doesn't get an answer at all, guess what it's going to do? It's going to ask it again. It's an endless loop. You keep asking it over and over again. And every time you ask it, you feel bad. And it causes you to do the worst thing that you can do. And that is to look where you don't want to go, to look at what you don't want. And then that causes you to feel bad, more of the cortisol and stress, and it just causes this loop. Let me give you an example of why it's so important to know what you want and look where you want to go and ask questions about how to get what you want versus how not to get and why you don't. You know, I grew up in a small town called Lancaster, California, and out there, it was desert, and there were endless, endless miles of just straight roads. And what happens when people would run off the road by accident or whatever, and they'd run into telephone poles. And I never could figure it out why they would hit the poles. The poles were only this wide. But the answer to it was, it was because they were looking at that. And wherever you look is where you're not only going to be committed to going, but it's what you're going to feel as well. And they're looking at the pole, and they're scared, and they don't want to hit the pole, but guess what? That's what they do anyway. It's the same thing when you ask the reason why I don't have what I want. Your brain is going to go, here's why you don't, is because you're lazy, or because you can't have it, or because you're not worth it. That doesn't feel good. You're driving right into the telephone pole. So let me tell you what you want. And you may say to yourself, well, Joseph, you don't know me. You don't know what I want, but I promise you, you're going to listen to this and you're going to go, yeah, that is what I want. And then you can fill in the blanks underneath that. And I'll get more specific. Here's what you want. You want to be more wealthy than you already are. Now, don't get it twisted because you might be going, well, it's not all about money, Joseph. I want you to understand what wealthy is. Wealthy means to be healthy, happy, and financially abundant. Now, tell me if that's not what you want. Healthy, happy, and financially abundant. And everything that what it means underneath there, you fill in the blanks of what that means to you. But let me give you an idea of the five areas of life that you want to focus on. And that's, by the way, instead of looking at the telephone poles, you look at the space. And these five things are the space. So there are five major areas of our life. And remember, you get to fill in the blanks. And, but as you fill them in, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Then guess what? You're looking where you want to go. And your brain is going to go, okay, that's what I want. And you start going in that direction. The first area is physically, your physical body, how you look, the weight you want to have, you know, the energy that you have, everything physical. You set your goals for that. You look where you want to go on that. And again, just like driving into the telephone pole, or more specifically, driving into the space, your body is going to start to show up and your mind is going to start to show up that way as well. The second thing is spiritual spirituality, whatever that means to you, religious or whatever, whatever you believe in, we all want to be connected in some way. And then when we have that spirituality, it makes us whole. It gives us purpose. So you want to, you know, obviously add that to where you're going, you know, fill that thing in your life as well. And the third is your emotions, happiness, you know, what your, your love, all the things, the joy, the, the companionship, the camaraderie, the connection, all of those things. What do you want? When you start to describe what these are, then your body is going to start delivering it to you, your mind will deliver it to you as well. And the next is financial. Now, that seems like a no-brainer, but most people don't really have a number of exactly the amount of money that they want to have. So I always say, not just the amount of money that you have in the bank, the amount of money that keeps on coming in residual, $50,000 a month, whether you wake up early or sleep in late or whatever, financial. You describe what it is, and guess what? It's looking at the space, and that's where you go. And then last is social, or what I like to say, relationships. 
your relationships with others, your interpersonal relationships, your intimate relationships, your friendships, and all the things that you do outside of there. What do you want your life to look like? Because when you do that, when you have all of those areas of your life and you have them, what you know what you want, then guess what you're not looking at? You're not looking at the telephone pole. You're looking at where you want to go. So let me tell you how to do this. Real simple exercise, but how to start achieving your goals. And we already talked about, you know, ask a different question. And the question is, how do I make those things happen? So the first thing that you do is write down your dreams, goals, and desires. And this seems so simple, but it is so powerful. Listen, years ago, a Harvard business study found that only 3% of the graduates from their MBA who had their goals written down ended up earning 10 times as much as the other 97% put together just 10 years after graduation. What does that mean? Because those wrote down their goals. I mean, just wrote them down. That means that their brain goes, this is where I want to go. They wound up in earning 10 times more. Hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars, six figures, 10 times more than 97% of everybody else in the whole class. That's how powerful this is. So in all those areas that I just showed you, what you want to do is you want to write down what your goals are on that. I have a saying that I want you to remember, and I want you to keep this in your mind and in your heart and in your soul. What you write is what you will invite. Now, I'm a stickler for writing it down, using a pad and paper or a pen or something like that. You can put it on your iPad, but I encourage you to write it down. Write down your goals. Next is to visualize. Use your mind. Remember, your brain cannot tell the difference between what's real and what's not. And when you look at it, you're going to go there. Just like the telephone pole. You know, oftentimes I do, uh, uh, when I'm doing seminars and, and uh, live presentations, I tell people to imagine biting into a lemon. And when they imagine that, their mouth waters because they, their mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's not when they imagine it. Well, you can use that with your dreams, goals, and desires. Imagine yourself feeling it, holding it, touching it. Imagine yourself being in that. Your body can't tell what's real, and it acts like it's real, and it gives you that internal pull and that drive to get up there and go make it happen. Use your brain. Use your mind. Visualize. And so these two things, in case you haven't figured it out already, create what's called an endless loop, or what I call a geometric psychological momentum loop. <laughs> what does that mean? That means that geometric means it's not just one plus one is two, or two, four, six, eight. It's two, four, eight, 16, 32, and it just grows and grows. And it's your psychology, meaning that's what you think and that's what you believe. And it just keeps on going and it creates momentum and it becomes your, wait for it, habit. The habit of looking where you want to go. The habit of, of asking a different question. So you're no longer asking why I haven't, but you're asking how I can. And your brain starts to do it automatically. It's like magic. So to answer the question, why am I not achieving my dreams? You mean, how can I achieve? And how will I achieve my dreams? Write and visualize, write and visualizing. It's so unbelievably simple, but it is so unbelievably powerful. This gives you that internal pull, that internal drive. And listen, if you want more resources, I created something with, that you can go and you can do some things to start to create that. It's my book called Dare to be Magnificent. I want you to have it for absolutely free. Just pay the shipping and the handling and we'll ship it right to you. Click on the link below and we'll get it out to you right away. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, I want to thank you for enjoying this and for viewing it. And make sure that you subscribe as well as click on the button to make sure that you get notified when there's more videos. And speaking of more videos, check this next one out right here. And I'll see you at the top.